What is up YouTube, GSNO right here. So in today's video, I have some great news coming from the Fried Apple team. They have released the patch finder for R64 that has been used in their jailbreaks. Let's get into the news. So going in here, we have Vladimir, who is actually part of the Fried Apple team, his Twitter handle being um, integral, and uh, you can see he's part of the Fried Apple team, and he has posted a couple hours ago, quote, Patch Finder R64 is released as open source, used in Fried Apple Team's jailbreak, unfortunately unreleased by a couple of reasons. And according to him, this patch finder can be used by jailbreak developers to develop another jailbreak by using other components that are also publicly available. For example, in this comment here, you can see he says, quote, the community didn't create even just a GUI for YALU 8.4.1. With this patch finder, KPP from YALU 102 and public bugs, jailbreak is easy. Now, I'm pretty sure by uh, KPP from YALU 102, he probably means creating a jailbreak for iOS 10.2.1, because as far as I know, don't quote me on this, but as far as I know, the uh, KPP bypass uh, from YALU 102 works on iOS 10.2.1, but it doesn't work on 10.3. It has been patched. So yeah, but anyways, the patch finder is definitely some important component. And taking a look in here on the uh, iOS jailbreak patch finder 64 on their GitHub, you can see it's completely available in here. It's a .m and has the header file. And then you also have the patch finder tester. So if you're a developer, you can just go ahead and take a look on the code. Uh, it basically contains code from, uh, you know, the fried apple team most of the code but it also includes parts uh, from look at this code and pangu so both of them jailbreakers it's written here in objective c so you can take a look if you're understanding the objective c syntax it's pretty interesting what this patch finder actually is well it says in here quote it analyzes a binary ios kernel to determine function offsets and where to apply the canonical jailbreak patches um, so it's pretty much a jailbreakers tool so it's definitely important and I'm pretty sure some jailbreak developers might be able to use this, especially since it is for 64-bit devices and not 32-bit devices. So yeah, a big step ahead for the 64-bit. Now, uh, Fried Apple team has been involved in jailbreaking in the past, so we do know that they are basically legit and the Fried Apple team members are known security researchers. Anyways, uh, they have also presented at uh, Black Hat Asia 2017 a presentation called the jailbreak DIY and Black Hat account on YouTube has also published the video which is the um, entire presentation 42 minutes that you can take a look on it's definitely interesting and um, it shows a lot of important things that you need to know if you're planning to build a jailbreak in the future and this info is very precious especially for jailbreak developers anyways um, the slides from the presentation are also available in here if you want to take a look I'm to link them in the description down below they pretty much contain everything that has been discussed in this video if you want to take a look on the pdf itself anyways yes this is what this patch finder is it's important for jailbreak developers it's not a jailbreak in itself you cannot jailbreak just by using this patch finder but it's definitely something jailbreak developers might be happy to use so yes it's a very interesting step ahead and we have to thank the fried apple team especially vladimir for doing this so yes that's pretty much it guys till the next time do not forget subscribe to stay updated, give this video a thumb up if you like it, give it a thumb down if you don't, and peace out.